location is mine. The vibrations, I don't need nothing else but you. I don't wanna fall in love off a subtweet. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Lisa back with another video for you. Um. If you couldn't tell already by the title, this is a part of my 25 days of uploading video series, I guess you could call it. I really hope you guys enjoy. I hope you stay till the end. It should be actually a pretty decent video. And if this doesn't have an outro, please give it a big thumbs up because you enjoyed it. So I know you enjoyed it and may want to see it again or something similar to it. Subscribe if you aren't already because I love new subscribers and turn on your notification bell. I mean, hit that bell, please. I mean, don't you wanna let, like, don't you wanna vid to know when I post a video? And then when you run out of videos to watch, you'll have your notifications on. Maybe I'll post one. You'll be like, oh, I can watch her. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, um, if this doesn't have an outro, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, go watch my other videos, um, if you want to. <laughs> and hopefully we'll be getting into Christmas stuff soon. Here are some of the items you will need to create this. A box tape, an exacto knife, sharpie, the gift, scissors, and another piece of cardboard. First you will need to take the box and line the sides with cardboard to make the box stronger. After you're done with that, Take the cardboard and create a fake bottom for the box. You will do this by cutting out the shape of the bottom plus an extra half inch or more depending on how big the gift is and all around, all around to create the depth so that the fake bottom fits over the gift. Then tape together the sides to make a short box of the fake bottom. done taping the sides, tape their gift to the bottom of the box so that as they shake it, they can't hear anything inside. Then put the fake bottom over it. and make sure that it is secure in there so that you know nothing, that it won't fall out. Once you know the box is secure and nothing's gonna fall out, you want to go to your uh, Google or whatever you use to look up things and search for a broke meme. Once you have found your meme, either copy the link or save the image or 
and then you want to go over to Google Docs, which you will see my friend does. And when you go to Google Docs, you want to click a blank sheet and either copy the image link into the the find image or put the saved picture into the doc and then you want to make it as big as you want it once you have the right size click print and print out the paper Once you have got in your printed out piece of paper with the meme on it, you want to cut out your meme. You don't want any white, otherwise it'll look a little funny. So try your best to get to cut the line straight through. Once you have your meme all cut out, you want to tape it to the bottom of the, or to the fake bottom, so that it looks like it's just a meme that you got them, and then put the top of the box on the box. Once, you're, once you finally get the box lid on, you want to wrap it and put a bow on it, do whatever you want to it to make it your own, and then when you have their name on it, you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed. Drop it, shake it, pop it, lift it, drop it, shake it, pop it, lift it, lift it, drop it, shake it, shake it, pop it, lift it, lift it, drop it, drop it, shake it.